Hey y'all, I'm Amy Socks. This is my sister Jolie Socks. We're the Junk Gypsies and we are all about the road. I mean, we were inspired from the road a long time ago when we first started the business and we've just never let it go because it's so inspiring us. We call it dashboard, dashboard therapy. therapy. We started in the late 90s and we really just hit the road and in search of like great junk and we were kind of looking for what we thought we wanted to be when we grow up and we didn't know that what we wanted to be was junkers and this is a life that we loved and so it's led us down all these different paths and roads and detours and back roads that we really didn't see coming and then it really just turned into something more than that it turned into a lifestyle for us the road is like a drug really i mean we just loved being out there we loved the flea market life and really for us what became just kind of a means to an end in the beginning, all of a sudden became something we had to hold on to for the rest of our lives and figure out a way to make a living at it. So that's kind of where Junk Gypsy came from. Airstreams will forever be just this quintessential American icon. I mean, they're American made, American built, they last forever. The goal with any Airstream we do is that it's functional, but we still want it to kind of feel a little bit like home with a splash of adventure and escape in there. <laughs> Okay. I don't even know how many Airstreams we've done at this point. Like, so we've done Miranda's. Miranda's. We've two, done, for, two for Miranda. Well, Miranda and, and Miranda's mom. Uh -huh. And then you, Dirks, Billy Joe. So we've done a lot of Airstreams for musicians, and they spend a lot of their life on the road. So one of the important things for them is that the Airstream feels like something that's familiar and feels like them, but it also feels a little bit like an escape. This Airstream was done for my daughter, Indy, and so it's kind of like a, a love song to a two-year-old girl, which if anybody out there has a two-year-old girl, you know, your whole world is like pink and sparkles and sequins. And so this whole Airstream is it's like a fairyland inside of there. I mean, there's so many neat details in there. The thing with working at Airstream is everything is curved. There's, there's about this much flat area at the bottom of the it. wall. So hanging things like signs and the typical standard decorating tools, you just can't do an Airstream. And the other thing you have to keep in mind is these things are moving down the road. So you can't just hang it on a nail like you would at a house. So everything has to be literally riveted to the wall, attached to the wall in some shape, form, or fashion. This is like extreme design. So putting a chandelier in a moving uh, vehicle is a little bit of a challenge. So we've had to kind of create ways to make that happen. So there's a couple of flush mount chandeliers in here. If anything sits still too long, it becomes a chandelier in our world. Yes. <laughs> So part of the reason this Airstream's been great for us, I mean, we take it on the road and go camping with the kids, but then also you can camp right here, like in the backyard, basically. And then also it's been a guest house, an overflow closet for me, and a playhouse for the kids. <laughs> Most kids have tree houses, our kids have an Airstream. Yeah. <laughs> We're always constantly inspired by the Great American Road Trip. You know, if we feel like we're kind of getting in a lull, we just have to get on the road. Some people do yoga, some people have therapy. We just get on the road. Yeah. Human beings by nature kind of are like to be, you know, it's like a, a migratory type of thing. It's in your DNA. Right, and so, science. I am. I'm very scientifically minded.